The golf swing is really simple to make if you understand what you're trying to do. A lot of times I get golfers in here for golf lessons that are really confused at what to do with their takeaway. They think there's some sort of magical move. The club's got to do one thing, turn, toe up, toe down. I'm here to tell you, there's one simple thing that you can do to make your takeaway exponentially better. But first, you have to understand what the body and the arms are trying to do so you understand why we need to make this move when we make a backswing and a takeaway. So the first thing we need to talk about is these guys, our arms. What the heck do these things do when we take the club back? They're the only thing that touches the golf club, and they're the most important thing, quite honestly. So when I set up to a golf ball, they hang down right here, right down from my shoulders. And many golfers will decide when they take that club back, they're going to turn the club, make it toe up. They want to get the club moving inside. They move it outside. They've got a lot of ideas of what they think needs to happen. I'm here to tell you what I know needs to happen. So when we play golf and we're standing here getting ready to hit our golf ball, our arms have some options, right? We can move them back. We can rotate them one way or rotate them the other way. We can bend them and fold them like this. And we can also use our hands and wrists in a variety of different directions. So when we make a backswing, what are, you, what are we going to do with these? We're going to let them hang off our shoulders. And as we take them back, tell me how much my arms have rotated. Have you seen it? How much have they rotated, pronated? The answer, not a whole lot, if any. So when we take that golf club back, Let's stop doing so many things to it and let's start making sure we do less instead of more. So as I take the club back, one key point for me is when I look down, I see my left elbow, the very inside of my left elbow. That is going to put the golf club in a position where it's moving in, up, and around. But what it isn't doing, it is not rotating and pointing back at me. I don't want my left elbow to point this way. I want it to point more down. As I point it more down, what does it do? It pulls closer to my body. You ever see the glove drill where someone's trying to squeeze a glove in their armpit here to try to take the club back more connected? That's what this is because they pronate their lead arm. It moves away from them. And then look what happens to the shaft. It pitches the shaft at an angle that's not conducive to playing good golf. So a lot of golfers will take the club back, roll it, open the face, separate their arms from their body, and then take it all the way back and up to the top. Now, from this position, if I stopped any golfer at this position, I wouldn't criticize it much. It looks okay, but how it got there is the problem. When it gets to the top of the backswing, by rolling, pronating, what is it going to do on the way down? It's going to do the exact opposite. So if I rolled it on the way back, I'm going to try to toss it and tumble it on the way down. So it's going to look more like this. I can't tell you how many golfers I've seen that do exactly this. This is one of the biggest problems I see amongst takeaways in amateur golfers that are struggling to make good ball first contact. So as I take that club back, my left arm, my left elbow points more down, and there's not a whole lot of pronation. There's not a whole lot of rotation. From this view, there's not a whole lot of this going on rod of rolling it would be like a clockward motion, like as if I was going to tighten a screw with a screwdriver, righty tighty. I feel like I'm doing the least amount of that and my left elbow points down from here. This is where we can start to do the fun stuff. This is where we can start to make sure we pronate it a little bit, but more importantly, look at my left elbow. It still points down. It's generally always pointing more down than we think it needs to. Most bad golfers will roll it first, point it out at the horizon, and then keep it pointed out at the horizon and make everything flat. From there, it is a myriad of bad golf ideas. As we take it back, our shoulders will flatten out, our spine angle will change, we'll lose our inclination, and the first thing we're going to do is come out again to hit the golf ball. A great drill that you can do is you can get yourself a range basket. Mine has a golf club sticking through it, but you don't need that golf club. You can just merely hold on to it. So if you're going to hold on to that range basket, put your hands on both sides of it, do your best to get into golf posture. And from here, 
the open end of the basket is going to point out there. I want you to feel like if you filled this bucket up with water and you made a backswing just to the takeaway position, all the water would still be in that bucket. Maybe it would look like it's spilling a little bit out towards the golf ball, but from here, it's definitely not level and it's definitely not tipping out behind you. That is a big no-no. I want you to feel like the opening is still pointing out towards the golf ball at that point. From here, as you take it further back, you're going to start allowing it to almost feel like the top of the bucket is now pointed up at the sky. I don't want you to feel like you're pouring it out more. I want you to get it up to the top. And if anything, you might be able to extend and turn a little bit more and just dump it a little bit over your shoulder. Maybe that's the first point in your swing that the water comes out of the bucket. So let's do it one more time. Opening points towards the golf ball. And then we eventually get it to pour some water over the top of our right shoulder. Where are we going to go from here? We're going to keep pouring it out behind our right shoulder as we come into the golf ball. Most poor players are going to do the exact opposite. They're going to roll it open, dump it out behind them, stand it up, and then try to toss out whatever's left back in front of them. That is a no-no. So if you're struggling with your takeaway, the number one thing you need to do is make sure you do less. You need to make sure you do less rolling, pronating, taking the club to the inside, and you need to make sure your left elbow stays down for longer. So when you take the club back, it gets here and you can strike the golf ball from the inside because the takeaway is perfect.